Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 47. I feel like I need a vacation after that last battle, and unfortunately this war is not yet over. Although, you know, we have a very substantial victory point lead, 140,000 almost. Um, closing up on 5 to 1, we're over 4 to 1 on the victory point ratio. Uh, I'd like to see something more like 5 to 1 before I feel really comfortable, but... The, at some point, just the raw mass, I mean, there's, if you're 5 to 1 and it's like 5,000 to 1,000, then it doesn't matter that much, it's still too early. If you're even like 4 to 1, when it's, you know, like 400,000 to 100,000, that's a huge victory, because the raw point difference does mean something, I think. At least, if I was designing the game, that's how I would do it, how I would do it. Um, so anyway... We don't have an invasion target set right now. I think that we'll have to see what the American force looks like after this. We have no ships in the Caribbean. I guess that's because they're all being repaired. And it was a brutal battle for us, I mean, in terms of damage that we took. So not too surprising. By the time those ships come out, I guess that... I guess we should have um, some more... Oh, I can't afford... <laughs> You're right, I can't afford that. We should have some more... Oh yeah, we only have one month left before our base capacity increases. So, do we want to shift stuff over to the Caribbean? Invasions do cost a fair amount of money. And the only ones we can do right now is if we just want to start totally dominating the Caribbean. One of the things I also want to do is I do want to improve Puerto Rico and give the... Maybe... Arecibo should get the naval base, because we do have the two already um, in Antilles. So let's improve... Let's, um, sorry, build a fortification in Arecibo. So I want it to be an air base in Arecibo. Very good. So it'll cost 700, which we barely have enough for. The maintenance cost is 46. That's significant. That's not even the cost of the... That's not even the cost of the airplanes. <laughs> but I think it's necessary, so we'll go ahead and do it. Um, other than that, I don't really... I kind of have lost my flow of the... You know, since that last battle took three videos, I've kind of lost my flow of the strategic side of things. What were we trying to do? So our Foya Dracos um, have definitely had a few bumps. We did overbuild them because we kept getting, you know, reduced cost build options. I think we had six, seven or eight. Have we lost two? We at least lost one, obviously, because I was in the last battle. But geez, man, it's been so many days since <laughs> since we were in the last battle where we lost battlecruisers. And I think we did lose one. Okay, right. We, we lost a battlecruiser. I think in the big engagement which opened this one up in the Baltic. I can't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, we lost a battle cruiser at the night fight against the Americans. They caught up back up to her. We probably could just solve this very easily by going over here. So the Ostwind, that was the one that was lost in that night battle. Um So yeah, I mean I think was the Nice now? Also, no, that was a previous war. Wow, not a lot of time between wars. Germany, very belligerent. <laughs> well, we, we can pretend at least that maybe it's other nations, you know, challenging our rise to power. So invasion-wise, with, with because we don't have the points for it yet, by the way, this is going to give us an idea of how many points. It looks like carriers provide eight strategic points. That's good to know. And another thing we knew we need to do is start building more ships. And I've as I've already said, I would like to build a new class. I mean, basically, there's a lot of things I'm learning as we go. This is the first series we can expect it. I, that's why I was kind of trying to play on easier. I uh, play this as like an easier one. I'm learning a lot of things. And once we know a lot of the little details, it should be a lot easier for us to just, you know, crank up the difficulty by playing, you know, things like Italy stuff like that. Playing with the historical budget instead. Anyways, I think that this will be our piece, but I'm going to go ahead and push it because although I do want peace, our budget will be massacred and they were derailed by the Hawk Party. Okay, better fire control. Five inch dual purpose guns. Amazing. They're finally here. 
Boy, we've been waiting for those for a very long time. Oh my gosh. We're in prize rules. Oh god. I don't know what... I don't know if anything happened. Another battle. Convoy defense with destroyers. What these are are gunboat destroyers, so out of everything that could be in this position, this is absolutely the best. Our convoy is behind us. It's getting to be night. So kind of all the... I, I would say this is like the best of all situations in every regard. The enemy is going to have a hard time finding us. Uh-huh. And all they're going to find is a mess. A real gaggle of torpedoes. At least if I have anything to say about it. Pull these guys off because we're going to get the friendly fire torpedo thing. Um, okay. Are you guys doing line of breast? No, don't. Do line ahead. Okay, there we go. Now we just launch. Actually, I think we should launch at this one first. And you guys, can you launch at the other ones? Yeah, so obviously there's not a lot of ship in the line of fire here, but I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm kind of okay with that. Wow, they avoided. Must be a destroyer, actually, since it somehow managed to avoid all those torpedoes. We're just gonna keep bringing the pain as much as we can. Because, yeah, hopefully those torpedoes will find their mark. I'm actually going to hold torpedoes on this side. I'm pretty sure that these are destroyers, though. Yeah, this is the Walk class. 1,600 tons. Actually, they, I think they outweigh ours. Yeah, by 100 tons. Which, you know, for destroyers is significant. But we're obviously just smashing them to pieces. So let's break off the G42. Try to preserve all life here. Get her to just go north. We'll have her go north at cruise speed as well. And have these guys pursue in greater detail. This is good. We've had we've hit the um oops, you guys are staying this way, but I'm gonna have you charge on in. So we've hit that lead one several times. Yeah, I mean this light cruiser, light cruiser, if it is a light cruiser, it's still taking five inch guns, so even that is something. But the fact that we didn't hit it with torpedoes leads me to believe. Uh, although it is saying medium guns. But it's very fast as well. No, I'm pretty sure it's a walk class. Let's get you to switch target. Ah, you don't see the other one. Okay. She's a goner. Turn in. Still getting some hits on this one, which should be just ruining her day, if she's a destroyer at least. And these guys have a lot of ammunition. We're not going to worry too much about conserving ammunition. We're just, I mean, I could stop them from firing at the one that obviously is not uh, important, but we'll get this one to detach as well. Just as soon as they take too much damage, peel them off, get them out of here. I move the... Uh, uh, I don't know. And this is where we expect that they were going to go anyways. This way. So she took one more hit. No, actually she didn't. That was S66 that took the hit. Oh. No, G91. Okay, yeah, it was her who took one more hit. Let's get her out of here. This one has come to a stop. Yeah, these are destroyers. Oh, lordy. Interesting torpedo launch. Again, I'm not really sure why, <laughs> how they design these things. This one's over. It's like waves. We have to avoid the waves of torpedoes. Get these guys down to eight, and let's send them back to our friendly port in Iceland. <laughs> how wonderful that we have a friendly port in Iceland. Send them over here. 
And now we'll focus on the last remaining one. This one I will actually focus fire. She looks like she is already targeting her. Nope. Let's get you to focus on the only one which matters. Teutonburg Wall took a big hit, so we'll get her detached. 85%. Is she flooding? Slight. Wait, what? Oh, so apparently it's it's more an issue that she must have got her her, uh, her guns jammed or something. She she otherwise looks pretty fine. She's looking pretty fine. I'm actually gonna run you north as well because this one is heading north. And let's put a stop to those. I want to be in control of that now. Oh, no. I'm going to lose one after all. Well, this is going to be a little bit interesting. I think we might be able to launch now, even though technically I don't think this is a good idea. But, I mean, I mean based on the fact that the Garotha Vault is coming... I don't think this is like a smart choice, but. Oh, could have gotten lucky there, though. Almost did. Okay. So we lost a destroyer, but everyone else survived. Um, just, I guess, kind of a useless battle, but it's extra victory points. It's more enemy ships down. Unfortunately, it's more destroyers down for us. So let's go ahead and look at the foreign station. Oh. Yeah, I do see the problem there. Well, we don't have enough light cruisers, and they are under construction, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the 5-inch dual-purpose guns gives us a lot of options here. I'm not sure whether or not we should go with 4- or 5-inch dual-purpose guns. I kind of think that the existing design we have is sufficient. Let's open her real fast. Let's open her, and then kind of see how much benefit we could get if we redesign so there's not that many i will have to re i'm gonna have to build some okay so this is a three four inch gun configuration it's already at 1900 speed 35 it has a good number of torpedoes if we were to rebuild it right now we could make it at 1800 tons if we don't rebuild it I mean, we could use that instead for what? What, what, what? More? I don't think we can squeeze another one. Wow, okay, we, we absolutely can. Is this overcrowding? It is. Instead of that, can we get triple turrets? I don't think, yeah. Well, first of all, these are not allowed only dual purpose guns are only allowed in. So what we could do is we'd have to drop this down to eight torpedoes or, so we have to delete this one, increase the tubes. Then we can go to more dual purpose guns. And I think that the torpedoes are useful enough, especially as we're going up against um, enemy nations, which just have a lot, a lot of capital ships. It's going to be 24 tons either way, so I'm going to put it just back there. Everything's okay. So the only thing we could do with the 55 remaining tons is either get more speed. Wow, no, we can't. Just trying to figure out what I might be missing. We could give her some light guns, some more... K no, we can't give her more K guns. I mean, what was the ASW of this thing? An eight? Why is the ASW on this so low? Remember the Bockenheim was an ASW of five, like long time ago. And I'm not really, this is not intended as an ASW. What the heck, by the way? ASW of three for the Glukstads, and those are just so cheap compared to these guys. Um, Essentially, if we ask ourselves, is this worth it for it to be reinvented? I don't know. Now, what do we have? 
I think we will be making our last destroyer class at some point. The best thing we could do instead of this, I'm thinking now, is maybe upgrade these to five inch guns and then pretty much the whole world's happy. Everyone who likes the five inch guns, you know, gunboat DDs is happy. Yeah, this probably is the best decision. Take down the ammunition maybe a little bit. Although, frankly, the ammunition for five inch guns is, I mean, for five inch guns, 140 is not very high. And we use this ammunition for the dual purpose firing as well. So we do need a lot of ammunition. Although I don't want to give up anything. What do we go to 2000? One second. Sorry about that. Um, well, I don't know what the ASW stuff is even doing for us. It just doesn't, it seems so not effective. <laughs> so I'm kind of like tempted to take this off, which does save us a fair amount of weight. Wait, what? 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 I don't, uh, I don't understand. Where did this come from? Did I do something? I feel like I just changed one thing and suddenly the weight was much different. Okay, we're only using three guns now, so we can add back the W with uh-huh yeah oh this is wait we have 2000 ton? i didn't even know we had of course that's where the weight came from yeah i just went up from 1900 to 2000 i think this is what we're going to end up doing then giving the rest to rounds per gun um we could have added light anti-aircraft and we actually have seen that these things are attacked by unfortunately aircraft still i think that that's a, a waste i guess we could I don't know, is it even worth two guns? I don't think so. Although they seem to be doing fine with even 150, so getting them 155 and doing the five inch guns. Hmm. Two light anti-aircraft is just not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather have more rounds of dual purpose and these will be escorts ideally. So they should be very good at ASW. They should be very good at anti-aircraft and they're gonna have a lot of torpedoes still good speed we could have tried to get I mean it would take like a 2200 ton to get 36 knots I think 35 is gonna be fine especially because a lot of the times you're a lot of the times your um, what's it called your speed is gonna be limited anyway so we'll take this We'll call this the Darna Valden. We'll let the design happen. Five inch dual purpose guns, improved director, 160, four AA directors. It has mines as well, which we don't even need. I don't know if we even want them. So maybe we could go with 12 mines instead and get three light anti-aircraft guns. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it, yeah, it just does not, it does not seem like much, does it? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I don't know what the light, how effective light AA is. We put like 50 on some ships and they, well, did they get hit? Our CV was hit? No, only our destroyers were hit. No, 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 our battle cruiser, our um, dreadnought, I should say, was hit. Um, <clears throat> what do the, so let's save this for now. And let's go back up. I want to see what our light AA on the Sturmbringers is. 55, good lord. So they're saying even with 55 guns, they weren't able to like ward off the enemy. Now the Sturmbringers are now good candidates for a refit because we got to get the five inch dual purpose guns on them. Five inch dual purpose guns for everyone. So the, the destroyers are not gonna finish in this um, 
war anyway, so I think we're going to wait on them. People are still uh, telling me that the Gluk Stods should be scrapped, but look at these are serving so well. 3 ASW for maintenance of 12 versus uh, 5 ASW on the Bockenheims for a maintenance of 26. So for over double, for I mean for not even doubling the ASW, we over double the maintenance. Double maintenance would be 24, it's 26, and double ASW would be 6, we only get 5. So if this was 7 instead of 3, I would see the reason why the Gluk Stods could go and get retired. But um, with trade protection, they don't enter battles we don't want them to enter. And I don't know, they're just, they're very, I would, I say just in general, they're very effective. We have two in Northern Europe who we will move out over to anywhere but here, basically. Um, the anywhere but here will be West Africa. Sure, why not? We can continue to move them away from there. And, oh, actually, can we use these as foreign stations? Or is it, oh, we can. I didn't, I thought that actually um, cruisers was limited, was the minimum you could put on foreign stations, but I guess you can put destroyers. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Destroyers could still do some protection, but anyway. Boy, the Rhineland carriers have really served us well, and those are going to, need a refit. In fact, we might even go to just 5-inch dual-purpose guns, um, getting rid of the 3-inch ones, and then putting more... Well, what we need is medium AA, so let's go to research. This is what I've been meaning to look at for a while. What is our research on? Naval guns is low. Amphibious operations is high. We still haven't gotten enough out of those, I feel. Uh, shipboard operations and naval aviation is high, which is good. Um, Anti-aircraft, we're going to turn up this to high. Medium is fine here. Explosive shells on medium. ASWs on medium. I think that's okay. Night surface torpedo attacks for our submarines. Our submarines are on low. I am planning to build a whole bunch of these as soon as this war ends, so I'm going to crank that up to high momentarily. Torpedo technology is on low. I feel like that should go to medium. Uh, bulbous bow. We're on low because I'm not sure what the, if the ship's not. I guess the 21 research thing should be. Yeah, we can see the fire control has made it. So let's put this up to medium now. Again, putting the, all these things up to medium doesn't. I mean, basically means that none of them are at medium. They're all at low. So we might want to reconsider some of these things. I just feel like naval aviation. We want to. We're so far ahead in that, but I want to keep our edge. Um, I just don't see anywhere where we don't need good research, <laughs> except for with blimps. <laughs> There's probably not a whole lot of points being poured into blimps anyway. Okay, well, we'll think about what we want to do there, but for now, I'm just I'm going to leave it as it is. Looks like only Japan was angered by that. I guess we can go to fleet support. Ah, no, we're so close to strangling the Italians that... Okay, Vulcan Clutch increases endurance. Not very important. Okay. 4-2, 5-3. So they win the ratio, although we win overall. And then they sink a whole bunch of things. Even operating in Northern Europe. Interesting. Convoy attack. For two destroyers. Well, that's not what I want to see. Yeah, we don't have anything. <laughs> Okay, might just need to flee this one. Sometimes discretion is the better part of Valor. Yeah, we're just gonna retreat. There's no way we're gonna win this. We will launch all our torpedoes first on the off chance that we score a hit. This is probably a good time to launch torpedoes. If nothing else, we can get them to change their course. Do a little wiggle waggle. Hopefully that ends up meaning that uh, 
They aren't able to actually engage us effectively. I'm gonna actually shoot at the second one in line. Oh, got close there. We have really done some damage on this one as well. Too bad we didn't hit her. Wow, lots of damage. Without armor, you know, all these are penetrations. We're sighting unknown ships. Oh, just hit. We've hit, we've uh, gotten so many torpedo hits and destroyers with destroyers in this. Just kind of hoping that maybe it would happen again. I think that she's going to sink, and I don't want to risk our ships. So, away we go. Hmm, six, five, and yeah, five inch guns. It's scary enough that I'm gonna leave well enough alone. Unless she keeps pursuing. What is she doing? The escorts are going this way now. I'm trying to fight this at range. Okay, forget it then. We don't want to give them too many victory points, so we're going to go in and see what we can do. Torpedoes would have been probably better against the transports, actually, now that I think about it. Get close enough, just launch. We don't have any torpedoes left. Okay, well, then we're just gonna have to leave this outnumbered about five to two. And that's if there aren't any armed merchant cruisers. Since we don't know, we just flee. Okay, well, and who knows when the uh, surface attack fleet is going to come out. Who knows what they have. So we'll just try to get out of the way. I mean, I wish we could have attacked them, but uh, like you put two destroyers up against that many, and it's essentially just, there's no way we're gonna win that, so. <laughs> so yeah, we'll take the L on this, we'll take the loss. It's considered a major victory, I don't know about that. We did actually sink that one destroyer. So in my, I actually call this a victory. I do call this a victory. It's a Bainbridge class. Four or five inch guns. I mean, this is an older one. Oh, it's 1,800 tons. My goodness. So, I, I'd call this a victory. <laughs> I don't care what they say. That's a victory in my book. We'll probably have some more ships repairing. Now, with the uh, increased base capacity, what I'd like to do is move more of our Sturmbringers out to the Caribbean. So we have two. I'm just going to move them all over. They have been very effective in the north in northern Europe, obviously, but we're gonna have to let the Blukers do something at some point. Yep, and then we. So one interesting thing is I don't think that since uh, ship, like the amount of uh, ships you can support in a region, I believe that it is based on tonnage, but strategic points is just based on ship class. So if you want to compress like the maximum number of strategic points into an area for the least amount of space that you're using actually it is better to use light tonnage just uh well as i like to call them strategic dreadnoughts these uh battleships like the hohenzollerns are per kind of perfect for invasions because they're not going to trigger the limit of um support in a sea zone quite as quickly we're really ramping up the Caribbean now. So we're at 141 out of 242. We're actually doing just fine in the Caribbean now. And actually accruing a bit of funds, which is, I think that's gonna be necessary just because I'm in a kit, I'm just gonna continue to improve Panama, which in my opinion is going to be the, the best, like it's the most untouchable base 
still right now, well, we're almost in range. Are we in range? Oh my god, we are. And Venezuela has oil. Okay, Venezuela is my new target. I don't care. I think it's worth it. Do we have the point advantage right now? USA is 66. We No. So let's cancel this for now, but we will be moving more ships in, as we just did. And what we'll want to do is even... Can I move them on trade, or trade protection? I want to move two dreadnoughts in on trade protection. Are they staying on... Yes, they are. Okay, good. So let's move two more on trade protection into the Caribbean, which will give us that exact strategic benefit. Perfect. Everything else is going to stay in Northern Europe to defend in case there's another incursion there. And even the Stoles... Okay, one Sturmbringer is going to stay behind just because I want to see how our numbers are doing after we move those that group in. Okay. Improved welding. Ah, I don't really care about. It. Ah, we lost a destroyer, which that's actually meaningful. Um, small engagement. Don't really want to accept this. It's just gonna be a bunch of destroyers running around doing nothing. Looks like our point advantage is high enough though. So what we want to do is, I think what we want to do is just. Go in, oh, we. this is not that small. Let's put you to support. Until we have control. And then what I want to do is pull us back to the east, but we will see what kind of, wait, what's going on here? What are you doing? Your screen. Oh my god, what are they doing? Just waiting for it to be. There it is. Possible to control. Interesting. It is the Bockenheim. Did I put Bockenheims in here? Did I put Bockenheims in the Caribbean? I mean, I really don't remember doing that, but hard to argue with the game. Let's see what we find, though. It's supposed to be a small battle, so supposedly we shouldn't find very much. What's our objective? We don't even have one. Okay, there we go. Spotted something. Very good. Um, 22 is probably still fine. We'll take up to 24 just so we can flee easier if we absolutely need to. And there's multiple battleships? Yeah, then just get me the hell out of here. Their battleships are pretty good. Now we already landed an initial hit, which I'm happy to see. But And at range, yes! For once in your life, Tortuga, use your deck advantage... To your advantage. <laughs> so we're gonna fight at range. We're gonna fight as, as far away as possible. Oh God. Well, and this is one good reason why you might wanna be prepared to retreat. We're still doing okay though. Put it to 25. Keep those destroyers very close. Michigan class, what are we up against? I mean, we do outweigh them, but they have five inch decks, so we're not gonna, yeah, okay. So we'll just pull off. We'll go just due east, which I think we can still, we still can hit them, yes. And when the, when the moment comes, we can always just, oh, now we, we lost our front guns, so let's curve back a little bit more. When the moment comes, we can always use our destroyers. These are Bockenheims anyway, right? And what's the other one, an Indiana? With two and a half inch deck, boy, I would like to focus on that. We might actually be able to sink that. But even if we can only detach one. And by the way, where you ask, are there escorts? 
certainly what I'm asking. So what's the best way for us to take advantage of the fact that they have no escorts? Oh god, okay, well, it doesn't matter at this point. We're gonna deploy smoke and go in. She actually landed a hit by some miracle. They're not wavering. Oh my gosh, that appeared to have slowed her down. Which could not have come at a better time with our attack run in pursuit. Okay, we're gonna turn south so that we can want to, and now we need to do this. I think she's okay to fire now. Good. So we'll start inundating the Michigan with lots of torpedoes, I hope. And we need to pull the Suds Leafer off. I mean, she's the only one I don't want to lose, and I think, unfortunately, the only one I'm going to lose. Just the way it works, right? I think of 10. Not, it's not too late for her. I do want her to launch all her torpedoes before she turns, but... And you guys can go back to line ahead now that the Suds Leaf is out of there. I don't know if this is going to be allowed. Probably shouldn't be, but we'll do it anyway. And get out of there. Okay, now you guys are deploying smoke. You should deploy smoke independently and move off to the east. Okay. She's still going in circles. Michigan hit by a torpedo. So I think we want to close in next to her broadside. She's hit by another torpedo, two more. Let's make sure of it though, especially because as I said, these are ship classes, the Bockenheim, which is Really close to retirement anyway. Why not a warrior's death, you see, I, I ask. That one looks good, by the way. Okay, let's, while she's taking all this damage, force her into a worse situation. I'm actually gonna tell her not to launch any more torpedoes because I want the Schnell Younger to hold on to her torpedoes for the Indiana. We may have a chance to... do something. And the Konigsberg is actually landing some hits, which is nice to see. So we have three torpedoes left. And maybe I can even split the difference by... <laughs> the Worms is taking her hits now. You know, let's get Worms to actually launch at the Indiana, just to cause her to maneuver. And probably I'll just break off the Worms at this point. Hey, if, if we can actually get everyone to survive, Michigan's hit by another torpedo, that would be the best case scenario, obviously. Worms, critical hit. Well, we're not expecting... This one's already taken so many hits, though. I think she's actually going to go down. How many torpedoes? Let's count. Five torpedoes, and I think she's dead. One, two, three, four. Four. They had to do it. They had to make me... Because five, I've never... I, wait, has one of their ships survived with five? I mean, I did, five torpedoes is so many. So we're going to rely on this idea that five torpedoes should be more than... As possible to uh, survive and we will focus on the Indiana I think one-on-one -on -one we can win this fight I do want to continue to keep distance since her belt is okay but her deck is abysmal so we'll try to gain some distance Worms is gonna move south how's she doing in terms of flooding actually no flooding so what does her damage do to just losing a turret or something yeah 
Losing the aft turret. Okay, well, fine. Just move south. We will push on the Schnell Junga. So you have five torpedoes. Let's start launching one of them. All we need is one more, and I'll feel very confident. That's a good run. We'll launch one more, and then we'll pull off. One of these is going to hit. Pretty confident, so we'll pull off here. Okay. They didn't hit. They didn't hit. Okay. Well. Guess we need to stay... Oh, is she spinning? Yeah. We're winning the, dun the gun duel between the Indiana and the Koenig. As soon as Schnell's done fooling around here, we'll want to try to engage. We'll have her hold her those last torpedoes, though. That's a lot of hits. So I think the Indiana's, Indiana's already done. And we're not able to engage full, so let's go ahead and turn. Give her more of a broadside. Oh, and just when we turn. Okay, we're... No, six-inch guns. There we are. We're back on track now. And we're back on track against the Michigan as well. And even pursuing her... Oh, interesting. What do we have here? What do we have here? I thought it might be. We know that this Indiana is in terrible shape. So we're going to go for it. Yeah, we're going to go for it. The Michigan on her best days is 21 knots. She's probably less than that now. The Indiana is still getting creamed, which is perfect. We're going to start opening up against this light carrier. Wind is to the southwest, so that's the way she'll have to deploy if she wants to launch. When that happens, we'll just take note of it. Ooh, the Snow Young guy is actually just... Okay, so, let's have you stop firing for 10 minutes. Your ammo's at 59%, but let's just have you stop for 10 minutes. This Indian is probably going down. And now the Snow Young is actually becoming our best ally against the Indiana. She is going to sink. So I'm going to leave the Michigan and the Indiana where they are. I'm just going to go right after this light uh, carrier. Could get lucky here. Oh, it was perfect. She did a really good job avoiding that. As they like to do. Okay, so let's disengage. Let's once again engage. Our target is this light carrier. So, she has, I don't know how many aircraft, but 10,000 tons, so maybe like 10. Could be more than that, but probably not. And we want to go squad max. Even if it is only 26, just so we can keep up with her. I forgot to look at her um, speed. But you know what? We have two guns pointing forward. The third one's not that important. Let's go ahead and go for it. We did hit the CVL. Was that with our um, big ones? Yeah, it was with the 16-inch guns. You can imagine even one of those might be enough to just really, really cause these light carriers to have some trouble. Another hit. 10,000 tons this is basically like light, a light or heavy cruiser, however you want to think about it. Another hit. Hopefully we can end this battle before time runs out. 
Okay, our other ships are away now. So just continue your slow saunter east out of here. You can go down to cruise. Actually, you might... I think I'm actually going to turn you back. You don't have any bulkhead hits, do you? Okay, belt. I Okay, conning tower. Yeah, 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 perfect. So even though she's not going to be as effective, we're going to bring her back in so that she can actually help out. Spotting, I mean, there's lots of things. Oh, that battleship sunk. You don't want to go into that range. <laughs> We really want to catch this one, though. We are definitely catching her. Light damage. She doesn't have any guns to speak of. Yeah, we let's sink her. Please do. Slowly catching her. Another hit. Another hit. We got her. She's on fire. We'll open up the broadsides, and that's, I'm sure, enough. And there she'll lie. Slow down to 20 knots. Come on, get ya. Slow you down to 20 knots. Actually, it'll take you down to cruise. Take you down to cruise. Mission accomplished. A successful mission, a successful video. One destroyer for two battleships and one light carrier. That's that's the kind of it. No. <laughs> oh man. That's sometimes I think the game just cheats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this. I <sighs> don't understand it, but uh, okay, I guess that's possible. That, you know, these big 16 inch, the quantization error even needed to, it's like, so it's very unlikely, but. It happened, so that's fine. We could have got one extra if I had just done my due diligence. I was a little worried about encountering mines um, that close to the entrance to their port. And she didn't even make it. But anyways, you know, they have the mine dots. You can usually see them if you scroll out, kind of cheat. But I don't actually see any. So maybe they don't show up when you're already done with the battle. We'll take our victory. It's still a good victory, obviously. A huge Battle Lily Point, no. Let's call this the Battle of Northern... Nothing could be called the Battle of Lily Point at this point. The Battle of Northern Haiti. Uh, okay, that's it. So we'll wrap this video up here. And until the next one, uh, thanks for watching and take care.